Hey guys, welcome to WP Dating Tutorials and in today's video tutorial, we'll be learning how to install LoveMath theme on your WordPress website. So let's get started. Firstly, let's go to settings in general and check mark anyone can register on the membership option and save changes. Next, we'll be setting permalinks. So set the structure as day and name and save changes. Next, we'll be uploading our plugins. So go to plugins and add new plugin. Upload plugin. Now choose file. We'll be installing our WP Dating main plugin. Now install now. Now activate the plugin after installation. Next, we will install another plugin. So yeah. click on add new plugin. Upload plugin. Choose file. We'll be now installing our DFP login plugin. Install now. And activate the plugin. Next, we'll be installing free plugins from WordPress Store. So go to Popular tab. Uh, we'll be installing Elementor, Contact Form 7, Classic Editor as well. For security, we'll be installing WordFriend security plugin and also the WPS Hide Login plugin. So these plugins are installed. This is installing. So we'll need to wait for a while. Okay, this is also installed. Next, we'll also ins install a uh, one click demo info plugin to, de to import our demo data. So click on install now. Next, we'll install the recommended plugin for email template that is WP email template plugin. Click on install. Okay, this is also installed. Let's, let's go to our install plugins section and install the plug activate the plugin. So check mark this plugin. We'll act activate this plugin at last. So please check this out and uh, apply it for the bulk activation. Okay, let's be close this. This next we'll add our add our last plugin. So click on add plugin, upload plugin, choose file. We'll be installing WP dating elementary add-on. So install now. Now activate the plugin. Next, we will install our theme. So go to Appearance, Themes, and click on Add New Theme, Upload Theme, Choose File. So first, we will be installing our parent theme, that is WP Dating Default Theme. So install now. Now go to Themes Pages. Let's remove this theme so it's not necessary. It'll just slow down the site. Now we'll install the LoveMass theme. So go to add new theme, upload theme, choose file, and LoveMass theme, WP Dating Love Match. And click on install now. So let's activate this plugin. We can activate this later. Okay, let's activate it. Now go to import demo data and select a file firstly uh, you will need to extract this file and you will get this folder so inside this folder there are demo data so let's choose our widget file that is demo data dot wie after this i mean click on import demo data and we'll be importing our deep data select a file now demo.xml so it has our demo data so click on continue and import so it's completed next we we'll need to go to elementor tools to import uh, Elementor kit library so let's go to import export tab and import our template kit select file and there is Elementor kit for our lama sim so click on continue next import okay completed so let's close it okay now let's go to pages so we'll need to remove these unnecessary pages like member space there's an extra member space so remove the one which is not which does not has which does not have elementor and next remove this privacy policy page which does not have elementor and move to trash and the cyber piece that is also not required so let's edit this member space and profile page as it is very necessary to set them as members and profile page otherwise we'll get some errors okay let's update it 
So page type should be member for the member space. Similarly, profile page should have the page type profile and let's update it. Okay. Next, we'll go to settings and reading. Now we'll set our static pages. Now click on static page and set home page as home page and post page as box page and save changes. Okay, and we'll go to appearance and go to premium options. We'll be setting our colors and logo. So let's leave them as default. And let's go to media library and select our logos. You can set your own logo here. Default logo and retina logo. For MacBook devices. Let's save the changes. Next, go to the footer settings. Now we'll be setting our footer. So check if the colors are okay. And let's add logo, footer logo. Select, okay. You can make changes here for copyright messages and save changes. Okay, now let's go to appearance and customize. We'll be uh, cu customizing our menus widgets. So you can see the menu is not good. So we'll be setting them first. So go to menus and main menu, set it as primary menu location. Let's go back. Now, footer menu should be the set, set as footer menu location okay let's go back so menus are done now let's go to widgets we'll be setting our footer widgets so you can see there are a lot of widgets here so let's scroll down so one of the footer widget is missing so it is a uh, footer column 2 okay so select your quick links menu here for this uh, quick links menu widget and go to sidebar to remove unnecessary sidebar widgets so you can see some of the unnecessary widgets here so let's delete them okay okay now that seems to be fine now let's go to publish our changes Okay, it seems to be fine. Let's go back to our admin panel. I will go to pages and uh, edit this 404 page with Elementor. As we'll need to adjust the menus, URLs. We'll also edit a uh, home page with Elementor. So we need to fix some URLs here because they contain our demo site URLs. So click on this button, go back to home page. So uh, it has our uh, demo demo data URL. So let's uh, replace it with the website URL. Similarly, do the same for the home page as well. So okay, let's go to buttons. You can update the links with your uh, website link. So let's re replace this with the website URL. Okay. Let's update the URL here as well. This one as well, our love story for the very couple of the month URL. This as well. For the blog page also, just click on this button and replace the URL with your website's URL for the blog blog page. Okay, so they're all done. Now click on publish. Now this, this is updated. Next, we'll go to appearance and menus. So uh, in the footer menu also contain a uh, URL of our demo data. So update this with your website URL. Okay, now save the menu. Let's go to contact and contact forms. So let's update these contact forms with your details so let's edit these forms go to mail tab and replace this uh, data from here update this to and from data as per your website's uh, address email address okay, let me copy this so this one's correct so wherever you see these uh, demo data you can replace it with your own 
email address data okay let's update them save so all the forms are have been updated now let's go to WP data and admin settings next we'll set this force provider as on and free move for both genders enable message for both genders so we'll make these changes and let's turn this off for now we can update them later click on changes set changes and go to activate license so if you have your license key you can add it here and activate your license key and click on update database so our task has been completed blood band sim is installed so check if all the bases are okay home base member space profile base user story testimonials contact us base so all the pages seem to be fine so that's how you install Lama's theme on your WordPress website. If you have any issues, you can contact us through tickets or live chat or email us. We'll be happy to help you. Thank you very much for watching.